Here is our new set of DC Forged HW56s and the color choices I'm debating between for powder coat. So as excited as I am for the new wheels, again, I'm just, I'm having an internal struggle. I don't know what to do about colors. What's going on y'all? Welcome back to the chaos. So I'm actually going to drop the wheels for the Viper off at powder coat. And unfortunately, I still have not made up my mind. And I do appreciate everybody that's kind of giving me their input. I got a lot of good feedback. But the only problem with that is everybody is all across the board. So there was no unanimous voting. So I'm dropping the wheels off. And yeah, I don't know which color I'm going to go with. Um, I have, I think, narrowed it down to two. Yeah, I've narrowed it down to two different colors. And so I actually had him order uh, the two colors that I narrowed it down to. And I'm going to do have him do spray outs. That way I can kind of see like what it looks like in real life just like a bigger on metal uh, i can see like a bigger version and so i'm gonna pick those up as i drop the wheels off and so i told him i promise i'm gonna make up my mind so that way he can go ahead and order you know whatever like powder he needs and get everything sprayed out but we're a step closer to getting the wheels actually finished and on the car Coming home a little bit lighter, we got the wheels dropped off a of powder coat. He'd actually done some sample like spray outs for me and that just further confused me. I really don't know <laughs> and I hate to make it all about colors but that's kind of an important decision to make and I don't, don't want to go too dark and I don't want to go too light but I think I have narrowed it down to I'm really feeling the blue. I've actually done some kind of like renderings uh, using video games. So I've done it in Forza and G, uh, Gran Turismo. And I really, not that I don't like the gold, but yeah, I'm leaning more blue. So I had him spray out the Vulcan blue, which was like the darkest. And then the Saratoga, which is kind of like a medium blue. Vulcan almost looks black. And then the Saratoga is kind of too dark as well. But then when the certain light hits it, it it looks blue, but I just, I don't know. I'm so torn still and I, and I hate that because I really thought as soon as I saw these like bigger spray outs that I would just know instantly like whether that was the, the color choice for me. That's where I'm at and I just wanted to be transparent that I still don't know, but I'm gonna go home, kind of take a look at it in the light. Uh, fortunately, it's rainy today, so that didn't give me like the best view of what the car would look like in the, in the sun itself but i'm gonna compare and contrast the different colors on the different spray outs like next to the car and kind of go from there but i'm hoping really hoping it's one of the three we'll see what happens one eternity later well, i'm coming at you from the future so past ryan that's been about a month a couple weeks i don't know feels like forever that we actually dropped the wheels off the of powder coat and honestly, it took me a long time to decide on a color, but finally narrowed it down, final decision, got them blasted. That was a whole fiasco. I'll go into that after we get them unboxed, but I'm so hyped on them. I want you all to see them. So let's jump in the box and see what color we got. My God, okay, it's happening. Everybody stay calm. So the final verdict, I went with the Saratoga blue. So it was, it's very close to like the Volk Mag blue that I was originally shooting for, but they sold like the actual Vulcan blue. And honestly, that ended up being too dark. So what I learned with the color selection process, and that's what kind of took so long to make a decision was, if you remember back when we first unveiled the wheels and we're trying to look at the little sample colors we were actually kind of holding them flat so like where the sun was directly beating on them well that's wrong when you're selecting colors you're not selecting them you need to be selecting them kind of vertical because you think about as the wheel is sitting on the car it's not laid out flat you know it's not it's not laid down like this so when the sun hits it you're not getting this effect you need to be looking at it like flat like the, the wheel face so that's what kind of threw me for a loop because if you remember in that first video, <laughs> I actually thought the Saratoga blue, which is exactly what this is, 
was actually kind of like too similar to the car color. I don't know how it's show, showing up on camera, but this is a lot darker than the car itself, which is exactly what I had pictured in my head. And if you look up any of the color, like pictures of the Volt racing, the Mag Blue, it is so, so similar to this. So, in fact, um, we use prismatic powders for this Saratoga Blue and to actually kind of make the unofficial official mag blue color you have to do a mixture so it's a, a half misty and a half saratoga the problem with powders and this is what i learned i mean this whole powder coating process even though i mean i didn't do it but the guy was really nice enough to go through and explain the process and how it works and uh, it's not like paint so paint if you pour 50 percent of one color 50 percent of the other you can mix it up really good and get another desired color powder doesn't work like that i mean picture it kind of like if you take two buckets of sand a blue sand and a purple sand mix them together it's not going to mix perfectly even so when you spray it out it might not necessarily be a hundred percent even coat so that's what we did i don't remember how many different spray outs and actually he sprayed out the unofficial official bolt racing blue and it was kind of a little bit streaky just because that powder doesn't mix like paint so I figured it was safer to go with a true 100% full coat of the Saratoga Blue that ended up being the closest I think I could get and actually make me happy. So when it's kind of in the shade, you kind of get like the, it's almost got like a real dark, dark blue, almost black. Like I guarantee you almost, I haven't seen these at night, but I'd be curious like in the, in the shade at nighttime, You'll probably think they're black but then when that sunlight hits it that's when they really pop and really come to life so 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 excited the camera doesn't necessarily do it justice because like your eyes like depending upon like what angle you kind of stand and look at it it's a completely different blue so if you're kind of standing at an angle then it's kind of like a darker like you can tell it's blue there's a hint to it but it's very dark and then if you look at it directly on when the light's really catching it it definitely pops blue but it just it's so crazy that yeah whatever little angle you're at depends on what color blue it is oh it pains me to box them all back up but next time you see them i promise you we'll have getting tires mounted and then we can actually throw them on the car and see the final product so I promise you no more no one is more excited than i am Not only did I get the tires mounted, but I actually dropped the wheels off to be ceramic coated. That way they'll just have a layer of protector, protection on them and I don't have to worry about it. They'll be easier to clean and all, but they look phenomenal. The actual like contrast from having the, the tire wrapped around it looks amazing. As excited as I am to actually get these thrown on the car tonight, because it is, <laughs> it is so late, I'm gonna have to wait, unfortunately. So it is what it is, I'm dying to see these things on the car but so for me long wait you all next clip will actually be throwing it on the car the day has finally come we finally get to mount the wheels on the car and see them for the first time i can't be more pumped -wee. i got them all lined up looking good ready to go on but man i just can't get over this color i think it's gonna look killer on the against the blue i think i had mentioned previously that I took and got them ceramic coated. These things are slick to the touch, so nothing should stick to them. Let's go ahead, get the old wheels off, and I do wanna compare the weight of them. So I'm gonna grab the scale, but once I get these old ones off, we'll compare how the difference between the weight, because we're stepping up from 18s, 19s to 19s, 20s. So I'm just curious on the weight difference. I've actually got a bathroom scale, so not exactly sure how precise we're gonna be, but should give us an idea between the difference between stock wheels and then our BC Forged. So I've got it set up here as best I can, and it looks like we're actually tipping the scale at a touch over 50. So that's a little, little shocking. Now let's compare it to the BC Forged. So that was the stock front, and remember it's a, we're stepping up in size and diameter, so 18s to 19s, 
and tire size as well. So stock, it was 275, 35, 18. Then with our new setup, we're gonna be stepping up to the 19s and running 295, 30, 19 Looks like we only picked up a pound or two because it's only a touch over 50 from our stock wheel. It's not too bad for stepping up in size. Aside from the obvious width difference between our stock and our new setup, I was curious about the height just because we did jump up a little bit, but you can tell she's a touch bit taller, but not actually too bad. The main reason I'm curious about the difference in the height of the tire is just because we threw on those, the BC coilovers, so those will need to be adjusted so we didn't do any height adjustment when we actually installed them just because I knew there was going to be a, a little bit of a difference. But it actually might be sitting right in the front because I was actually pretty pleased. I think we're about like a finger and a half gap with the stock setup. So we might be looking a little touch over that, maybe two finger gap. I don't know. We'll see. But enough stalling. Let's get the new wheel on. Don't even look like the same car holy smoke i am blown away like i thought it was gonna look good looks even better dang that like completely transforms the look of the car so i'm not gonna be riding around looking like anybody else now holy cow this looks wild i love it and actually the stance actually might be money because we have a little more aggressive fitment now wow wow i am so blown away all right, one down, three to go, but that's the most <laughs> nerve wracking experience of my life because I just, I do not want to scratch these wheels. I'm trying to be so, 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 so careful. I can't stress that enough, but wow, they look good. Ignore the silver lug nuts just because I figured the wheels would have to come on and off to play with the fitment and everything like that and possibly get an alignment and all, but um, I do have black lug nuts for the car. And once like everything is said and done, I'll put those on there, but black is more apt to scratch. So I figured we'll rock the silver for now, but that's not, that's only temporary. I was able to compare the front weights from stock versus our new wheels. These rears, I'm gonna do my best to get them up on this bathroom scale, <laughs> but just because of the width of the tire, we'll see how this goes, but I'm trying. Shockingly, I was able to actually get it up here pretty steadily. So what are we reading at? Looks to be a tick under 70, so maybe about 68 or so is my guess. So now let's compare it to the new wheel. I am actually pretty shocked. So we're coming in about the same, looks like to be about 68, 69, giggity. So not too much difference really. And with these, I just wanted to compare. They're the same width. They're both 345s, but the sidewalls should be a little bit different. So on the new wheel, we're running 345, 3020s. Old setup, 345, 3019s. So let's see the height difference. So when we have them side by side, you can tell that the new setup, just a tick taller. So we'll see how that does again for our fitment on the coilovers. I'm stunned like I can't believe this is my car right now like this looks crazy <laughs> I love it oh my god it just it looks incredible it seriously looks like something out of a video game but holy cow it's reality I'm gonna torque the rear down and then let's roll it outside and see what she looks like in the sunlight <laughs> I thought she looked incredible in the garage under that lighting. Get it out here in the sun and these wheels pop. With that YouTube movie magic, we're gonna snap our fingers and be done. Y'all didn't want it bad enough, come on. There we go, just like that. We're done. I did everything by hand. I didn't use any impact or anything like that just because 
with these wheels i didn't want to risk messing them up or anything like that so took my time made sure to be super super careful if i haven't stated already um the sizes in the front so we have 19 by 11 plus 45s and then in the rear 20 by 13 plus 55s so the fitment on it is money couldn't ask for any better so i just i thought like the for being like a supercar or whatever the stock fitment was trash i mean like the wheels were just so inset and i like my stuff kind of flush with the fender and this these offsets knocked that out of the park so with that offset it it pushed the wheel out so that way we're kind of flush with the fender we might have just a little bit of poke but that's okay we still have to get in alignment so maybe a little bit of camber can pull that in but it's almost right on the right on the money and the rear it pushed it out as well uh, with the bc racing coilovers we do have a little bit of a gap not sure how much is going to bother me whether i want to lower it or not but as far as fitment on the rear goes again just like how i like it right at the fender maybe just a touch of poke slam just got home she has not seen the car so i've kind of led her to the corner where she can get a good glimpse of the entire car what do you think open your eyes Mez? yeah that looks so yeah. <laughs> good holy crap like it completely transforms the car holy crap it's amazing yeah it's wild how drastically different oh my god that looks even that's like whoa you good with the blue yeah i was not <laughs> the biggest fan of the blues he was leaning towards i like black and yeah, Which, like i think at night when you see it like in in low lighting i think it's gonna look kind of black yeah definitely but like even looking at it here from like this angle it's dark enough in the shade that it's yeah still dark but like i can't wait to get it outside. in the light yeah holy crap it transforms in the sun that looks so good yeah. <laughs> Like I was saying earlier, like it's kind of vision come to reality. Like it just looks so much better. I don't know, like I don't know how camera does it justice, but like in person, it's just, wow, it's dramatic. Like honestly, like I finished up putting all the wheels on probably 20, 30 minutes ago and I've just been sitting posted up in a chair waiting for her to get home, just staring at it. Cause I can't believe, really can't believe it's mine. Like not only is it hard enough to believe I have a Viper, but then I have a Viper that looks like this, like, blows my mind i'm so pleased with the way this turned out i want to know what you think in the comments below is it something do you love it hate it kind of indifferent is it something that's gonna have to grow on you i always like to be a little bit different i like to throw my style at everything i do so from the moment that i got the viper this is kind of what i had envisioned in my mind and honestly it's it's exceeded that vision so i was inspired a little jdm style like the mag blue from the volt racing wheels and I always thought they would look killer on the Viper. And the closest that I could get the TEs were these custom BCs. So I'm gonna link all the companies that I use down below. But I really appreciate everybody watching. There's millions of videos on YouTube and you took the time out of your day to, to click on this one. So I really appreciate it. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. It really does help out. And if you are new here, Chaos Car Club, we're exclusively unexclusive. So we have everything in the garage from motorcycles, supercars, imports, domestics. We love it all. It's got a motor and wheels. It's right up our alley. So join the chaos, smash the subscribe button, and we'll catch you on the next one.